in one reactor rose uh, a number of degrees as a result of a slowdown in waste to energy conversion. You are aware of this? I'd heard uh, rumors. Mr. Morrison chose, more likely was instructed, not to make this alarming information part of his submission. <laughs> <laughs> City Press, page two. New power station set for the chop. The Daily Sun. Government looks set to do an about turn on its decision to go with the plan to build what was built as an innovative nuclear power station. Mail and Guardian, safety of nuclear power station technology in question. It's all over the place. Look, after yesterday, it was inevitable. So what, what happens now? Well, we're going to have to do some damage control. Be well and good if the minister hadn't done a spectacular about turn and started supporting the gas energy boys. Jacob, you can't say that conclusively. Of course you can. They walk around smiling, patting each other on the back. Yeah, well, I still don't think that's any evidence of collusion, but I think it's just Prospero's style of charm. Yeah, you would know. Sorry, sorry, that was uncalled for. You're right, you're right. It's time to clear our heads and find a way back. Do you know any of the committee members? I know Ben Masinga from way back, but I don't think it'll do our case any good to make an approach. No, I think you should sound him out. The information the minister had was taken totally out of context. We need to let them know that, and we need to ask for a right to reply. Yeah, we'll see what I can do. Why didn't you talk to me? Prospero, he put you up to this, didn't he? You may as well tell me. I'm going to find out soon enough. Yes. What did he offer you money? He's offered me a position. Position? You're a pawn, Glenda. He's going to chew you up and spit you out. Jacob, I'm sorry, but I've made my decision. Glenda. You know there's no turning back from this, don't you? I know. To double Johnny Walker Blacks. It's good to see you outside this official what what. And I do appreciate it. It's the least I can do for a fellow Harvard alma mater. <laughs> So, tough day yesterday. Not unexpected. Although the fact that session closed right after the minister mentioned the Saudi problem was unfortunate. But for you, of course. Well, that's exactly my point. I mean, it plays right into the hands of the gas energy boys, doesn't it? Jay, you know as well as I do that what really matters are the documents, the detail. Most of what goes down in the hearings is pure theater. Yes, but theater is effective. The press are running with this thing. Public opinion is shifted, and next thing you know, a few men with influence start talking, and theater, as you put it, becomes reality. And all the details end up under piles of paper neglected in a corner somewhere. What are you asking? I don't know that I'm asking so much as voicing a concern. Jacob, come on, stop hedging. I know you well enough. I'm concerned that there may be consensus between members of the committee and members of the gas energy bid. But then you've always been a conspiracy theorist. Am I wrong? Strictly off the record, the minister does seem to have lost some of the confidence he had in your plan. Based on what? Your recent financial problems. But we're beyond that now. What concerns me is that the minister seems fixated on a crisis that we came across that was unavoidable. 
And surely the fact that we've gone beyond that speaks volumes about our, our ability to deal with adversity and pull this off. Look, I could have a word. See if we can extend the hearing by a day or two and give you a right to speak to the issues that were raised on safety. Yeah, that would be great. Now, if everyone has to come back for extra time, the nature of your proposal will have to be compelling. It is. Shall we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, I'm not going to be making any victory speeches, but uh, I think we should drink to present company and our gas energy bill. Isn't it a bit early to be doing that? Makubu's bid is finished. Uh, but Prospero, when to and Makubu always as tight as brothers? Yes. Until he shafted me. Well, in business, someone is always getting shafted. Yes. But we must be cautious to celebrate as yet. Because in the battle for money and power, things are always shifting. Yes, from the nuclear bid to our gas energy one. I'll drink to that. Power to the people. I promised myself that raise. Yeah, like? Well, I just don't want to be in a position where if anything goes wrong, I'm left not knowing where I stand. What do you mean? Well, like the house. It's in your name. Yeah. So don't you think it should be in both our names? And I need it to be clear that what we have will be shared if, you know, Al, this um, sounds like a breakup speech. No, no, it's not. It's not. I just, I just don't want to feel insecure all the time. You know what I mean? And I don't want you to feel insecure. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll have some papers drawn up, and they'll say that anything we've gained whilst we've been married will belong to both of us, and we'll share it equally in the event of our separation. Listen to me. It's my first night back, and already we're talking about terms of our possible separation. It's, it's not like that. I just don't want to feel insecure. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. I want to make it work. I want to be here with you. And little Joe. essential staff have been evacuated to Portacot. So exactly how long is it going to take before these rigs are back in operation? Not clear. <coughs> Mr. Harker. Yes, Mr. Boemi. This is Mr. Jeff Harker. He's the production manager on the rig. Thank you very much for coming in, Mr. Harker. You were on the rig on the what? day of the attack. Yes, ma'am. Can you tell me what happened? I, um, I was doing the night shift, and just before dawn, I heard power boats. I uh, pfft, didn't think anything of it, but suddenly, the, out of the blue, there were these armed men everywhere on the platform. They just took over, running around, hitting people down with their guns. Where were you? 
I was up in the observation tower, watching all this happen down below me. I know it's really difficult to talk about this, but can you tell me exactly what happened next? Some of the crew started jumping from the platform to escape. Uh, I think this upset their plan because they tried to stop it and uh, there was a lot of shouting between them. The other crew decided that it was safe in the sea, so they jumped off to everyone except for Vorman and the Han and me. <laughs> they beat Vorman and the Han over and over and kicking them. Until they stopped moving. And then they took them away and disappeared as fast as they came. I'm sorry, but I'll, but I have to do this. We we want to confirm. Is this Mr. Vorham? What about the Han? When they let him go, he took the first plane back to Rotterdam. Look, we're trying to get the rig back up and running by the end of this week. Is there any way you can find your way? Get back on. Did you have a look at this, Miss Abayomi? I am doing an honest day's work for an honest pay. I'm not a soldier. And I am definitely not a mart for some rich person with a jet plane. I just want the money that's owed me and I want to go home. Look, all I'm trying to do is to make sure that the rebels don't. Don't bully us anymore. It's not my war, madam. It's yours. I'm going home. And I'm sure the rest of the crew feels the same. Thanks for your time, Mr. Hacker. I'll make sure that you get paid today. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, miss. Whoever has it in for you, they mean business. What do you mean by that? Those weren't rebels, ma'am. They were mercenaries. Trained soldiers. I don't want to get my hopes up. Well, come on. You know you've got it. Okay. Uh, there's a new show and I'm up for a presenter. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. It's a lifestyle show, so we're going to have in-studio guests and... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut Blanche meets Oprah. Those are perfect for you. Yeah, Oh. What's up? Oh, we've taken up a very good nanny. Well, at least I think so. Check out my time. She's a bit... Traditional. <laughs> Don't get wrong, but traditional. Mama, I think someone who's younger and, and more educated would be more stimulating for Ujo. Jacob, Joe is a baby. He just needs someone warm and loving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Ma, you must meet her. She is such a gem. I mean, she's raised four kids on her own. Four. Hey, boy. OK, you know what? Then I'm going to gracefully bow out of this one and admit that I'm underqualified. <laughs> no, babe, I actually think it's sweet that you care because most men think this is just women's stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like your brother here. And the egg, I'm. Yo, yo, yo. Typical traditional guy. That's it. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. We'll pack these, put our aprons on, and send them to the Jacob. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie Jacob. <laughs> Yes, Zoral. This is Fagila. I owe him. Yeah. What's a sort of outboard? 
Mamuza Bamba. Ah, no, I don't have a buzzer sent. I saw the papers about the problem. Ah, yes, that. What a mess. My good friend Prospero. Again? It seems he's found a way to swing Ambrose Toller's view to his. You gotta fight, man. Any plans? Erwin did in Manteta with the boys at commission. Oh. <laughs> but yes, the thing is, Jacob, sometimes in order to totally respect, we don't to clap. And this is business. Of course, it's Daniel. You know, it's just that one I've got to search here. That's all. Look, do you need some help? No, no, thanks. I've got this. Yeah, because if you need someone to put pressure on them, you know. No, thank you. Really, I haven't. As long as you sort it out. It's sorted. How oh, about you? I would pay 50% more than they get on the North Sea rigs. Yeah. Thank you. I am, uh, yeah, I'm desperate. Our security men have got one of the kidnappers. Alive? Yes. Where is he? In Potakot. Do the authorities know? Not yet. Good. I want to be there for this. Get the chopper ready. <laughs> yeah. Come on. He just won't go to sleep. I've been rocking him for 10 minutes. Oh, you know, he's used to Rebecca's lullabies. No, he's not, man. He usually goes down just fine. Why don't you just sing him a song? I'm not gonna sing him a song. Why not? Because it's not me. Just sing him a song, one of your Justin Timberlake songs. You know what, why don't you do it? Give him a Why give don't him. you do it? Come here, come here, come here. Tula, 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 tula. Okay, is this supposed to make me feel tula, bad? Tula, tula, tula. <laughs> some lunch in the boardroom. No, thanks. I've done some chicken licking. Is Prospero in? Oh, I popped out. I think he prefers his meal in a restaurant. <laughs> okay. But uh, he left you this stuff. Oh, well, thanks. Excuse me. Brand Holdings, good day. Hello, Zelda. How are you? Yes, I've been in the class, yeah. Oh, you have to go to man. Afraid. Did uh, Pierre Duchamp call for me? Yes, but I gave him your mobile. Get him on the line for me. Mr. Brand? Yes, Ash. I have Mr. Duchamp on the line for you. Great, put him through. Prospero. Yeah. I've been talking to Marie and we've decided we should all be together for the hearing. Keep up the tension. I've been kept on on business for a week. Backer. Yeah, you need to get your priorities right. What could be more important than... Must be all. Hello? Jesus. Wow. Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna have to phone you back. Where's Michelle? Um, she always leaves at 4.30. I don't suppose you know where my laptop is. Your laptop? No. Yes, I left it on my desk. Well, well, I don't think she would have taken it. Michelle, I've just gotten in and it's not here. I thought you'd taken it with you. I left it. I left it in my office, for Christ's sakes. Well, I was in and out of your office all afternoon and I didn't see it. Great. Ashley, 
We've got a situation. My laptop's gone. It can't be. Yes, it's gone. It was on my desk when I left, and now it's gone. Well, but no one has been in your office except Michelle. Look, I need you to get hold of the police now. See this. Who is this man? He's a mercenary. Who does he work for? Some guy out of Lagos. Is this the man that hired you? This man. Tell us. So far, so good. Sir. Sure. What's up? I'm going to tell you something. What? No, I don't need a laptop. Hey, tat tat. No. <laughs> yeah, hey, tat. Andile, hmm? how did you even get this? Ah, an opportunity presented itself, and I took advantage of it. Never mind how unethical this is. You know this could get you back in jail. And I'm going to it. And hey, they end up as my ethics. You work for the guy. Not for long. And it says I'm fond of the project here. Yeah. I don't know if I can do this. Do whatever you have to do. Dot, go up. Yeah, sure. I don't think there's any reason to panic just yet, but if we can take any precautions, it might be wise to do so. What would anyone have access to? Depends who it is. If it's a teenager from Alex or Santon, they'll probably just wipe the hard drive and fill it with games. But if it's somebody who wants to find out about what's going on in the Brunt group, uh, it could be more problematic. What are we talking here? Email records? Yes, and a uh, full history of internet banking. Are you implying? Yes, Minister. What do the police have to say about this? They asked me if I hadn't left it at home or in the boot of my car. So was the investigating officer. Detective Fisser from Weinberg. Oh, I'll make some calls in the morning, see what I can do. Thank you, Minister. And again, I'm sorry for bothering you. Good night, Brandt. Good night, Minister. Just, I've just got it. Um, yeah, listen, this this is um, this is the one that's going to turn everything around. 
Turn what around? The power stations. The power station? Yeah. yeah. Jacob, I'm not interested in the power station. I'm interested in a husband who occasionally comes to bed at the same time as me. And decides on his own initiative to make love sometimes. I don't know. Absolutely. I'm a pepin now, uh, conclusive. Take a bow. Yes, I'm going to be able to do this long tradition. I'm going to be able to Anyway, I'm going to be able to do this because of your relationship. Of course, I'm done. I'm going to be able to do this in the right way. I'm going to be able to do this. Me, dear, you Last resort. Good. You know, I'm done. I'm going to be able to do this in the right way. Yeah, you know. It does leave a bad taste. Go to Kumbulim Danam, go to Ambrose, Ubelayal, go to Song. I acknowledge that. Chong. Well, look, Jacob Omazio has had to wake up and smell the gravy. Of years, and now after one drink, you're giving me wake up calls. Uh, yeah, well, look, something's come up. What, Jacob? Well, a pile of documents have arrived on my desk here. An anonymous envelope. Anonymous bloody envelopes, they must be banned. What's in it? A paper trail, leaving no doubt about the conspiracy we referred to yesterday. Look, anyone can leave a paper trail. Copies of an email correspondence between Minister Ambrose and Mr. Brandt, in which Mr. Brandt strongly hints at offering the minister any help he might need. The minister responds positively, saying he's just bought a house in Belito Bay. There's also two transactions totaling 300,000 rand directly into the minister, shift the minister's preference from the nuclear power bid to the gas energy bid. So all I want are the power stations back on track. The committee is scheduled for an evaluation session this afternoon. I'll get back to you. Again, thank you for your time. Pleasure. Be safe. Understand, Andila, who could just get in here? Anybody. You know, this place is like a Texas rank. People everywhere. How many times have I told you you need to be more vigilant in the office? Huh? Security and reception. Yes, I just didn't want to end up working in C-Max. Hey, this is Josie. You know, laptops are easy to sell. I got the police in. Uh, they give you a case number? Yeah. So your, your insurance will pay for your laptop, right? That's not the point. It's not about the laptop. It had... Certain information on it that's irreplaceable. Don't you pick up? Gentlemen, I thought we would... Please have a seat. <clears throat> Look, in light of recent developments, we thought we could expedite the decision-making process. <clears throat> uh, the committee has um, evaluated submissions and documents, and we've come to a provisional decision. Uh, even though there are concerns around your processing technology, uh, we feel that there is a need to move forward. Therefore, we're going to give your nuclear power station the go-ahead. The committee would want regular updates with a specific focus on environmental issues. We have also submitted your recent documents into the record. But are requesting that you don't submit these details to the public committee. Would that be acceptable? Ye yes. In that case, we'll take no further submissions to the committee and we'll announce our findings next week, Wednesday. Thank you very much, Mr. Makobu, and good luck. Hey, I've been trying to get hold of you. Yeah, I've been at the coast. I have some good news. I wish I could say the same. Go on, you tell me your news. The commission has decided in our favor. No, you can't be serious. 
I am. Jacob, what do you do to them? Oh, that's a story I'll have to tell you over a couple of glasses of scotch when you get back. Well, whatever you did, well done. And you? Hmm. Jacob, it's, it's a mess down here. And of course, Bonner's involved. What are you going to do? I'm really not sure. But a few things need to play out first. Listen, I've got to go. OK, well, keep me in the loop. What's up? Why don't you tell me? What do you mean? Oh, please, man. Don't play dumb with me, all right? Jacob got hold of information that could only have come from my laptop. I suppose it serves me right for trusting a criminal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. Do you have proof of what you told me? I don't bloody need proof. Then I suggest you should be very careful, my friend. Oh, well, what are you going to do, huh? Stick a knife in me? No, 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 no. That's too easy. I'll sue your white ass. Get out, you're fired. That's fine. I'm done here anyway. There's nothing for me here. Oh, and, uh... You watch your back. And your little brothers. Huh? Huh? You listen to me, you chicken s***. You touch me or my brother. Jacob in? Is he expecting you? No, I thought I'd surprise him, if that's okay with you. Sure. Thanks. Hey, Aja. All right? Hey, yeah. Yeah, what's going on? Trust one Clotil. Clotil? Yeah. I was one of them, you know. Bandit Jango Blom, but more than yours is what she should do. You man, the glandy. Well, he threatened us. Oh, Prospero. Yeah, he said we should watch our pets. <laughs> Typical. But then, I'm a bamba, I'm a washi. Andy, are you joking? Do I look like I'm joking to you? So, here's the thing. Oh, oh, Prospero, we turn to Teta Akul, and most of the things he says, he doesn't really mean. Well, I mean, I do. And he takes it on him in it. Well? Yeah, thanks. Sure. One time. It's not just one time. You're just not fun anymore. You don't have any joie de vivre. Please don't get so bloody French with me. <coughs> this hasn't been the greatest 48 hours, okay? And what's this shit? Oh, this isn't shit, baby. Pure as the driven snow, you want? No, absolutely no. Your loss. You're going. Anymore. You want to do this again sometime? No. Absolutely no. Please show me the door. You know the way. Tired. 
Must be the Joburg altitude, huh? Mm. Drink? But I'm not here to socialize. You don't mind if I have one? I'm here to talk about the attacks on the Avami oil rigs. Regrettable incident, huh? Obviously work of the militants. I don't think so. Oh? One of the gunmen was apprehended. He says he works for Dan Bigelow. And Dan Bigelow works for you. <laughs> and by some strange process of deduction, I'm responsible for this, right? Yeah, I think so. What would I have to gain? Well, I have shut down every single one of the Abami oil fields in the Delta. It's costing me an absolute fortune. You know that this will lead to an increase in the price of crude. Please, save me the school economics, OK? You know, I also happen to know that you and Dan Bigelow are investing heavily in oil exploration in Sudan. Where did you hear that? Well, uh, all of this instability works to your advantage. You're fantasizing for that, I know. You're not stupid enough to actually admit to any of this. Then what are you doing here? Because I want you to know, Bola, that I'm onto you. I'm watching you. And the other players in the region are watching you as well. Fighting words, dear sister. Fighting words. You're running out of allies. Even the type you can buy with your cheap prostitutes and dollars. You must be a happy man. Relieved is more like it. So what does it feel like, Jacob? How does what feel? Being part of the real world. I don't follow. I know what you did, you and Andile. You crossed the line. You know, that's rich coming from you. You bought off a minister. I did, didn't I? Look, I'm not bitter. I mean, uh, all fair in love and war and all that. You did what you had to. As you say. Thing is, Jacob, like everything else in life, once you've done something once, it becomes easier to do it again. We're not so different, are we? You and me. Cheers.